Welcome to GIS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to perform Terrain Ruggedness Index using QGIS. So as you can see here, I am just currently using QGIS 3.22.6 version, so which is uh, one of the stable version. So first of all, we need a digital elevation model in order to run this Terrain Ruggedness Index. So let me add the DEM data. Okay, as you can see here, this is my DEM data. So I have downloaded it from the Earth Explorer and it is of uh, SRTM data. So now let us see how to perform the Terrain Ruggedness Index. So for that, go to the option raster and uh, you can see the option analysis. And at the below, you can see Terrain Ruggedness Index TRI. Just click it. So now you can uh, browse your DEM data. If you don't have the data added to the display, you can just browse the data and add it to the display. And uh, in the second option, this is nothing but to save. It can be saved to a temporary file or you can save it to a particular file. So the two options have been there. So I'm just uh, saving to the temporary file. Now I just uh, select the button run. So as you can see here, the result has been uh, completed. Sorry, the process has been completed and we have got the results. So as you can see here, this is my results. And my ranges is, uh, my values ranges between uh, 0 to 159. So now uh, let me go to the properties of this image. So as you can see here, I have chosen this one in the render type and uh, I have color uh, I have just uh, chosen this uh, color ramp turbo and I will be choosing the interpolation as discrete come down here I am going to select equal interval So this is my class. I'm going to take six class into account. So the lowest is uh, below 26 and the highest is above 133. So that is what I have classified the result file into. Now just uh, going to apply this and just give OK. So as you can see here, this is my result. And you can check the uh, majority of this value uh, it lies below below 26 and you can see the highest value it is uh, above 133 so it has been uh, quite few of them so now let me go to the browser here you can just check in the time recognition index is nothing but it uh, specifies or it uh, tells us the amount of elevation difference between the adjacent cell of a dam so now they have uh, given few values as you can see here 0 to 80 meters is considered to be a level terrain surface and uh, you can see here 959-24367 meter represents extremely rugged surface 242-497 meter represent a moder moderately rugged surface so these are the values for the ruggedness index so now let me go to the QGIS you can see here my majority of the value is lesser than 80 meters so it comes under level terrain surface you can see here the majority of the value is uh, below 80 meters and uh, you can see there are a uh, few values which is uh, greater than 80 meters so that will be coming under so my maximum value is around 159 so uh, it will be uh, uh, the result will be the result can be classified into three classes so 0 to 80 meter represents the level terrain surface 81 to 116 meters represents the 
nearly level surface 117 to 169 meters represents slightly rugged surface so likewise you can just see the results what you have got and the how much uh, ruggedness is your terrain you can just check it with these values i'll be just putting this link in the description as well you can just check it so if you have any doubts on this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions thanks for watching gs metros and goodbye